after that. So there's been a bunch of surprises here already. But um, if you were to think about, um, uh, about what's taken place during this four-day conference, um, what are your thoughts? I mean, you're a trustee uh, on the board of the Outreach Foundation. Um, just what are your impressions? Yeah, this, I've been thoroughly amazed at just the ingenuity and the, I guess just the spirit of all the work that's going on in the, in the stands. So I've met people from Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan and Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, and even some stands I'd never heard of before. And I think the, the overarching theme seems to be, despite a fairly heavy, um, I guess Muslim population and uh, some fairly strict um, government regulation, the church is thriving here and they're doing it in a lot of innovative ways, which is not really impressive. Great. Um, you know, we're getting ready to leave and go back home and we're all gonna go back to the churches where we worship and in our particular context. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how does this experience um, relate to your experience? Um, does it even? Or yeah, I think it really drives home you know, the verse in Revelation that talks about, you know, at the, at the end of time when Christ returns, there will be a big gathering of all tribes, all nations, all tongues. And just being able to be together in worship uh, where brothers and sisters from across about seven nations singing in Russian, sometimes in English. It just is kind of exciting to think about how we can translate that to our congregations back home, just the fact that God is a global God, and he's not just somebody that's a God that works, only works in America. So it's nice to see that God is really on the move all, all around the world. Well, Doug, I want to thank you for coming here, and I want to thank you for taking time to, to be a part of this new launch for the Outreach Foundation into Central Asia. My pleasure.